Expanding vaccine eligibility in Missouri brings many frontline workers relief. Some are still frustrated with the rollout. Yeah, News 4's Emma Hogue is in Chesterfield tonight. Hearing from those who fear the supply will still be questionable. From the beginning, we have been there faithfully. Day in and day out. As a Schnucks employee, Inez Broom Barnes has worked face to face with customers throughout the pandemic, contracting COVID-19 every time she goes to work is a constant concern. Due to the fact that we've been doing this for a whole year, I'm very concerned because our interaction with the customer is closer than six feet. For me, it's it's very hard. I don't know if today is the day I'm going to get it. As a teacher at Parkway West High School, Zavin Nalbandian interacts with dozens of students four days a week. The 52 year old is eligible to get the vaccine now because he has type 2 diabetes, but he says he can't ever find an appointment. You're still waiting and that anxiety is, is really very hard to deal with and there's nothing you can do about it. Despite Missouri saying it's nearly ready to move up in vaccination levels, these essential workers say they're skeptical. My other concern is that, you know, we're, we're not going to be able to get the vaccine no matter what our priority level is. My biggest thing is when can we get it? When? News 4 reached out to Schnooks and Deerbergs and found neither grocery chain has immediate plans to vaccinate employees. Schnooks says if approached by a health department, they'd host vaccine clinics for employees. Deerberg says it's working with local health care partners to provide a vaccine for employees who want it. Both companies are encouraging staff to pre-register with hospitals and health departments. Parkway Schools says their plan to have school nurses vaccinate their educators has been rejected by the state. So they're looking to team up with an area health care partner. You can prioritize teachers, but if you don't put the vaccine in the areas where the highest concentration of teachers uh, work, it doesn't make any sense. I think we should have been some of the first group. Now, Governor Parson is insistent supply will be increasing substantially before March 15th. Grocery chains and schools hope that allows for more mass vaccination events so employees don't have to go it alone. Reporting in Chesterfield tonight, Emma Hogue News 4.